Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials 2. Now, before we move on, I promised that we would be creating the the project in the way that we are going to do it in our daily basis. But uh, actually, there are a couple more things that I forgot to talk about. So the first one is auto wired. So as you know, Spring uh, works a lot with uh, uh, dependency injection. And how does that work with Spring Boot? Let's create a new package here. Let's call this package util. And inside this package util, let's create a new class and let's call this date util. If you have been developing for a couple of years, probably you have one of these classes somewhere in your code. So uh, let's create here only one method. And let's say that this is going to format um, local date time to database style and we are going to make like a local date time as argument local date time okay and here we are going to just return date time formatter dot of pattern and the database style it's like this Okay, so this is one thing uh, pretty common. You usually will have uh, OTO classes that you're going to use in your code. And let's say, for example, that we would like to add this method right here. So we have here private date with, oops, date with two, date with two. So you don't want to instantiate the object like this. You would like to rely on spring for that so what we are going to do let's rely on spring and for that we could use auto wired but we have two problems here the first one as you can see we have this error saying that this uh, we cannot auto wire because the component does not exist and uh, we have here data two this is not a component we could add here at component from spring stereotype but as you can see we don't have here the icon saying that this is a spring component by IntelliJ so why is that because we have here the component scan and the base packages is only the controller well we could change this and add it here but the best practice when we are working with spring application is that this application start start the class that is going to run your application should be at the root level of your packages in this case the root level is, is spring boot 2 so what we are going to do we are just going to move this one to the root level click on refactor delete the start package and we are going to remove these component scan based packages we are only leaving the annotation at component scan now if you go to day two tool you will see that we have here uh, this spring bean and if you click over that icon it's going to bring you to the place where the components being scanned now if we go back to anime controller you can see that the it just disappeared that error it means that this is being auto wired and if you click here it's going to send you to the the, the class so this is like IntelliJ feature not spring feature these icons right here and as you can see here we have one uh, small warning field injection is not recommended so what we can do here is like we can create a constructor and inside this constructor we will leave that for the spring to do it And you just remove here so uh, with spring 5 we don't need to use auto wired anymore by default it will auto air for you if you only have one constructor so I'm going to I'm gonna leave it here just to because we are learning so you won't forget that this is being auto wired but even if you remove you can see the the icon right here so um, let's just uh, well writing system out println is a bit difficult let's add another dependency here 
this dependency will be uh, Lombok. Now, I'm not going to specify the version because if we check the effective POM right here, you will see that we have Lombok. So the, this is the current version. I'm not sure if this is the, the latest, but it will do for now. What I would like to do here. So uh, on IntelliJ, when you add Lombok, you have to enable annotation processors. Just search for annotation. You have annotation processors. Just uh, apply. Let's see if we have any problems. What I would like to use here is SLF4J on Lombok. Okay, and now what we are going to do here, log.info, and we are just going to log uh, the to dot format and local date time dot now. You can add the small message here formatting the date. Okay, so what we just did, we created a add component here for data tool, and then we moved the application start from the start packages to the root level. And now we have the component scan without the base packages because it's automatically uh, scanning everything. So what we are going to do now is uh, start the application. And now we go to the Firefox and then we refresh this page and we go back and check the logs. So we have the date formatted. Now, uh, coming back here to O2, we have this add component. This is what's going to tell Spring that this is a Spring Bean. But we have another two options that is add service and another one that is uh, add repository. So what's the difference between all of them? So this is kind of the global and this is like specialization of this add component. So basically repository, I think it has one extra feature that will map the, if you're using your repositories and JPA Spring Data from Spring Framework, it's going to map some uh, exceptions and uh, add services just to, to use inside your service classes. Basically, all of them will work. If we remove component and repository, service works. If we add here repository, it also uh, works. It also makes this a Spring Bean. But in this case, this is not a service. This is not a repository. So we are just adding here at component. And this is uh, enough to tell this is a Spring Bean. And since this is a Spring Bean, Spring will uh, auto-wire that inside our controller. Now, it's, uh, we have another option since we are using Lombok. Uh, I will use it here, but it can be a little confusing if you are learning. If we use all args constructor, uh, it will create a constructor for you once you generate the, the, when you run and generate the source code. And I have another option that's a required args constructor. It's when you have like final attributes, it will create a constructor with these values that are final. So we have these two options and it will automatically also add the auto wire. So we can uh, refresh here, stop and rerun. And then we refresh and it's still working and it's still uh, formatting, still auto wiring this um, data tool. So we know that we have uh, three ways to make this a spring bean. We know that component scan will now scan the entire package because we are at the level. And now, one last thing, most cases, when you are working with Spring Boot, you will have to do your own configuration. So it's pretty common that somewhere, at some point in time, you will have this annotation at configuration. So this at configuration will uh, load the configuration classes that you have inside your project. And uh, the difference is because uh, this enabled configuration is done by Spring and at configuration, it will load the configurations that you have created uh, by yourself as a Java classes. In early Spring days, you used to have all these configurations through uh, XML and now we can do that through Java. So this configuration will basically load that 
And uh, this is pretty common. Basically, every time you are running a Spring application, you will have this enable auto configuration, component scan, and add configuration. So Spring is uh, pretty smart, the Pivotal guys, and they just move this to one annotation called Spring Boot Application. If you go inside this Spring Boot application, you will see that's basically those three, Spring Boot configuration, enable auto configuration, component scan. So everything that we were doing, but uh, behind the scenes now we have some magic going on. So when you generate a project from uh, Spring, you will see this Spring Boot application that basically is behind the scenes what we were doing here. So from now on, we are going to use at Spring Boot application and we are going to remove all these unused imports. So this is uh, what I had to talk to you. Just be careful sometimes when you are auto wiring, don't forget to add the, the component here. So I see you in the next class. Bye.